This is the Clovis High Junior Guidance Lesson number one for November 2020 called Exploring Careers, Mapping Your Future. In this lesson, we will cover information pertinent to juniors, hoping that we provide the information that you need to be successful throughout this year. To begin with, we would like to encourage you to stay connected throughout this year. We have an Instagram that we have created that you can follow and get updates on college highlights and testing updates and all that sort of thing. So definitely take time to follow us on Instagram. We also have our website and you can see all the different tabs there that we have information available to you from summer school to NCAA to the military to AP classes, earning college credit in high school all sorts of things and we keep this fairly updated so please take some time on there that's a great place to start if you ever have questions that you are looking for answers for this is the quote that will set the tone of this presentation map out your future but do it in pencil we understand that your plans will change we understand that you will create a plan and you will have goals in mind, but as you recognize new passions or life circumstances change, your plans will change and that's okay. That's what writing it in pencil indicates, that things will change, but we do want you to start creating some plans, okay? And so the mapping out your future means what are some options that are available to you that would be legitimate interests we want you to start thinking about what those look like and whether they'd be good fits for you personally. And because we don't want you to graduate and then suddenly have to figure out what you're going to do. So the point of this presentation is to give you some information, but then lead you through some career exploration and career discussion. Here's a checklist of things that we would like you to do throughout junior year in order to be successful. First, it takes time to explore careers. See what training or education is required for these careers so that you have a set plan. That includes looking into different college systems, whether that be community, CSUs, UCs, or private universities. Take time to look at apprenticeships. Take time to look at vocational training schools and military branches. Whatever the options are that are out there, um, they're all available to you. We have links for all of these options on our website, tabs for each of them. So I would encourage you to look into the, each of these and see if they'd be good fits for you and really know what's required for each of these options. Two, make intentional registration decisions for senior year. Are you interested in CART, ROP, or AP classes? Look under our counseling tab at the CHS website for more information and links. The CART application will open on December 1st and it's due February 12th. As you go into registration in March, you should be making decisions that are right for you, that are intentional and are based on your career and college interests. So take some time considering what those are so that when you register, you're choosing classes that will um, build upon your knowledge base. Number three, take the spring SAT and ACT as available. We'll set out updates as we receive them about these tests. For now, they are scheduled to occur in the spring. We encourage all of our students to take one of both of them in the spring of your junior year, and then you can retake them as needed in the fall of your senior year. You can study for both of these, and there's an SAT and ACT tab on our website where you can find links to the practice sites for both of these. Number four, start looking at scholarships. We have a scholarships and financial aid tab under our counseling tab on the website. Again, it's never too early to start looking for money. There are search engines on there, such as FastWeb, Going Mary, or Big Future, where you can create your own profile and start looking at what scholarships are available and even applying to some. And then lastly, Use junior year to build your resume. Get volunteer experience, get work experience, get any type of experience that's available to you so that you can figure out what you're interested in and where your passions are. As we transition now into 
the career discussion, I'd like for you to take some time to really think through these questions. And I would encourage you after each of these to pause this presentation and write down your answers on a piece of paper. If you do not want to do that, you don't have to. You can just think about your answers. But if you really want to get the most out of this, I would encourage you to write down your answers. Number one, what am I good at? Has anyone ever told you that you were good at something? Think back throughout your life. What has been really easy for you that maybe isn't as easy for others? A lot of times, the things that we're good at um, are good career fits, right? And sometimes we think about things that are really interesting to us, but it's not necessarily something we're good at, right? That's going to end up draining you. It's going to end up being more challenging than it's worth. So really take some time to think about stuff that's been easy for you and then find careers that fit your strengths. Number two, what are my values? Consider what's most important to you and then pursue a career that fits those priorities. Each career is going to require a different amount of training or education or require a different type of lifestyle or could be even location based. So take some time to think about is location important to you? Do you only want to be in college for a certain amount of years? Do you want to make a certain amount of money? Think about what is valuable to you and that way when you're looking at careers you can assess if it matches those priorities. And then number three, what is my personality? Take some time to really figure out more about your tendencies and what drains you or energizes you. This is important when considering careers. Kind of going back to the first one, there may be something that interests you, but if it's not something you're good at or not something that fits your personality, it's going to drain you and you will burn out of that job fairly quickly. I may be very interested in law and in the crime shows that I watch on TV, but if I am not interested in arguing or doing research, being a lawyer is going to be especially draining on me. So I shouldn't pursue that career. So take some time to think about who you are, what energizes you, what excites you, and what drains you so that again as you're looking at these careers you can match your personality. To help you start assessing your personality we encourage you to complete the Zello personality assessment. You can access Zello through Clever. The link for Clever is on the email that this video is attached to. Once you complete your personality style assessment, you will get a list of careers that match you. Take some time to look at those careers and write down three that are of interest to you so you can explore them further. You have to have the matchmaker done to do the personality style assessment, but you should have already completed this last year during our guidance lesson. And to wrap up, we just want to close with this quote. Map your future by mastering the differences between the boundless time and the limited seconds in a clock. You have a lot of time left in your life, and you will have a lot of experiences throughout your life that will contribute to the person that you are in your future career. But be intentional with the time that you have. Every experience that you have here in high school is contributing to your knowledge base and your skill base for your future. The opportunities that you pursue in the classroom, in athletics, in leadership, in work, in volunteering, whatever it is, is building a knowledge and skill base that will be critical to the employee that you will be in the future and the person that you will be in the future. So access as many opportunities as you can, learn whatever you can, that way you will be a valuable citizen when you graduate Clovis High and you'll have a ton of doors open to you and can pursue whatever job ends up opening its door to you. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation. Please take some time to complete the survey that's also attached to this email, and we look forward to seeing you all back on campus soon.